John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text And thou shalt make the breastplate of judgment with cunning work, after the work of the ephod thou shalt make it, of gold, of blue, and of purple, and of scarlet, and of fine twined linen, shalt thou make it. Exodus 28:15. Commentary And thou shalt make the breastplate of judgment. Called a breastplate, because worn upon the breast of the high priest, and a breastplate of judgment, because it was to put him in mind that he should do justice and judgment in the execution of his office, and that he should have at heart the judgment of the people of Israel, and in difficult cases should ask it of God, and faithfully declare it to them. It was, with the twelve stones in it, an emblem of the church and people of God, born upon the heart of Christ our great high priest, who are made righteous by him, yea, the righteousness of God in him, and are called by his name the Lord our righteousness, the judgment or government of whom is committed to him, and which he exercises, by appointing laws and ordinances for them, by constituting and qualifying persons to act under him, to explain those laws, and see them put in execution, by vindicating and protecting them, and by the open justification of them at the last day. With cunning work, after the work of the ephod thou shalt make it wrought with divers figures in a very curious manner. Of gold, of blue, and of purple, and of scarlet, and of fine twined linen, shalt thou make it, a piece of stuff interwoven with threads of gold, or golden wires, and with threads of yarn, of blue, purple, and scarlet colors, and with threads of fine twined linen six times doubled, all which may signify the beautiful array of the saints, with the several graces of the Spirit and especially their being clothed with fine linen, called the righteousness of the saints, that raiment of needlework, and clothing of wrought gold, the righteousness of Christ, consisting of his obedience, sufferings, and death, fitly expressed by these various colors.